Hello, my love! It is nice to visit with you. Good morning to you. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are rested. I hope that you are enjoying these transmissions. And if you are not, I hope that you are ignoring them. I hope you listen intently today to something. Uh, most definitely not me. Well, I hope you listen intently whenever you listen. Um, but you most definitely don't have to listen to in intently to me. But I hope you have that sense of awareness, of presence in you today, at some point, to listen very intently. Perhaps to music, perhaps to Poppy Ackroyd, um, who I will recommend at the end of this. I was thinking about how to tell if you want to be a writer. Or how to tell if you want to be anything, in a sense. But I always had this idea, especially when I was younger, of being a writer. That I wanted to be a writer. And if you want to be something, and you are using that language to describe yourself, I want to be X or Y or Z, it is much more useful as an exercise to take out the word and put in what that person actually does. So, how to tell if you want to be a writer? The question is, instead of saying to yourself, or the exercise is, instead of saying to yourself, I want to be a writer, you say to yourself, I want to sit at a desk for long periods of time by myself and think of ways to describe people and events and things and things said. If you want to do that, then you might actually want to be a writer. Because that's actually what it entails, sitting by yourself for long periods of time, thinking up ways to describe events and actions and peoples and things and dialogue and ways of explaining phenomena, um, whether fictional or real. And when I was younger, I did not think in those terms. I just thought I wanted to be a writer. And I liked the idea, quite frankly, of the fame and significance that would bring. Um, the imagined adulation, uh, which did not turn out to be the reality of my, of my publishing life. But that's a whole other story. Um, but the idea is that those things are, are well, I was going to say they're great, but they're, not, they're neither great nor not great. Um, those things are tied into our desires for belonging and significance. And that's all well and good, uh, even more well and good if one is aware of that. But that comes from being published and being successful on top of being published. That's not what being a writer is. That's what being a famous author is. Those are two very different things. And so, it is helpful to examine which of those you actually want. Um, I thought when I was younger that I wanted this one to be famous, to have some notoriety as a writer. I learned as I got older that I just love to write, that I love the process. Um, I love doing it. I love... I just love writing. It's funny, I'm thinking in my head, I, I recall, if I'm correct, in tools of... Uh, uh, I'm going to guess, I'm going to think it was tools of titans. No, my thing was tribe of mentors. Um, there was a woman who, now I can't even remember her name, who said, whose advice to people was, if you, want to th if you think you want to do something, think about the process. Do you actually enjoy the process that that thing entails? And, I, and in another way, that's simply what I'm saying. Do you want to do, if one thinks that one wants to be a writer, does one want to actually do the thing that writing entails, which for the large bulk of it, the vast majority of it, is sitting by yourself and coming up with things making things up if you're writing fiction, or finding ways to describe things that happened if you're not. Um, so, just food for thought. Again, if you, if you, I should say, well, if you veer down that, that path, 
and and I will leave it at that and recommend, as I mentioned at the outset, Poppy Ackroyd, um, again, because repetition is everything, and uh, Before and After the Book Deal by Courtney Mom. And with that, I will bid you adieu.